Well, saints, we just got out of church. Um, look at my face. It's like kind of all washed out. <laughs> First of all, we just ended the Pastors and Leaders Conference. And that conference was, um, it was amazing. Um, the first day, the first day of the conference, Bishop Jakes opened the first day of the conference. He normally opens and he closes. He opened the first day of the conference. And um, the nuggets that he gave us in that very first conference, in the very first day, to me, was enough I mean, I could have said, if the conference ended right now, it was well worth the registration. It was well worth the trip. It was well worth me being here. Um, I don't, man, I'm going to tell you, I, I uh, y'all see my videos and I talk about the services here. And sometimes when you have a good thing, you say, okay, I've seen the best, like it can't get any better. Okay, so he opened he opened the conference on Thursday and he closed it yesterday. And yesterday in the closing, you seen pastors and leaders and CEOs and all types of people just laying prostrate on their faces on concrete because the presence was so strong and so thick in there. The presence of God was so thick. And Bishop preached so hard. He preached so hard. Um... And I had to, after, you know, I, I'm on staff here, and one of my jobs is I have to do the order of service for every service. And so I had to leave the conference, and I had to come to the church, and I had to send out the order of service to let, you know, for us to know what we're doing today in church. And normally after a conference, when, especially when he gives out so much, um sometimes we expect for him to rest that Sunday and not preach but today it's so important to pray for the men and the women of God the men of God that give so much they give so much to the people because you got to pray that God restores their strength and keep them vi vibrant and um, keep them rejuvenated so that they'll be able to continue to give us such good word. And Bishop preached so hard today. He talked about, he talked about the wind, the sound, the sound in the wind. And he talked about how the Holy Ghost, you know, everything is, he's talk, been talking about the Holy Ghost for like the last five weeks we've done sessions in our Bible study about the Holy Ghost. And today he was talking about the wind. and He painted such a beautiful picture of how it operates, how God operates even in the wind. It was just so powerful. And you know, I can't tell you, um, I can't, I know I, a lot of times I give good synopsis, but I'm so full right now and I'm still kind of caught up and I know I might not have even, even be making sense. But he, he closed the service out with um, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. And he said to, to lay your hands on your neighbor and tell them. Your answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Your answer is blowing in the wind. He talked about marriages. He talked about jobs, financial struggles. And he said, God is in the wind. God is in the wind. And if you just listen, your answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. So whatever you dealing with today, just know that your answer, it's in the wind. Put your ear to the wind and hear what God is saying. He went to Acts, the second chapter, when it talked about 
And when they were all in one place, the Holy Ghost came as a, and the sound as of a rushing mighty wind. Oh my God. And it filled the house as they were sitting. And he talked about God coming in the wind. It was just so good. I'm at five minutes and 14 seconds. I got to shut up. But listen, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Your answer is blowing in the wind.